Okay, good evening, dear ladies. Baruch Hashem that we have the schut to meet each other every week with Siyat Adishmaya. Let's bench everyone, let's uh, say a bracha bezrat Hashem that we'll all have the schut to greet Mashiach Tzitkenu Barachamim, Bimera Be'amenu Barachamim Murim Bezsiyat Adishmaya. And we will all have the schut to see and hear Eliyahu, Anav Eliyahu, Tishbe Eliyahu, Giladim, Bimram, Shech, V'David, Eliyahu, Nevi, Zachur, Latov. And we will all have the schut to see Beit HaMikdash HaShlishi, Bimera, Be'amenu, Amen. Ki ayin v'an mushu v'adnai Tzion, Nata takum terachem Tzion, Ki et lecha nena kiva moed. Hashivenu Adonai elecha v'nashuba, Chadesh yameinu kekedem. And we will all have the schut to go to Eretz Yisrael on the wings of eagle. And we will all have part in Eretz Yisrael, Besiyat Adishma. So dear ladies, בשם השם נעשה ונצליח, אין עוד מלבדו. השם שפתי תפתח ופי יגיד תהילתך. אמן. חודש טוב ומבורך, הוא היה ממש ראש חודש אב. הוא היה אינסייד ראש חודש אב בסייעתא דשמיא. And בסייעתא דשמיא, this Shabbat, we are opening חומש דברים. This is Shabbat חזון, that is called Shabbat חזון. Over the uh, prophet of Yeshayahu, the prophet Besiyat Adishma, Chazon Yeshayahu Ben Amotz. We will speak about it, Bezrat Hashem. And I'm reminding you that this Shabbat we're reading the third chapter of uh, Masechet Avot, Bezrat Hashem. And I want to remind you that Besiyat Adishma tried to read the whole Tehillim Bezrat Hashem. The Shabbat Chazon tried to read the whole Tehillim. If you can't do it alone, Divide it with your friends, Besiyat Adishma, and together on Shabbat, you'll finish the whole Tehillim. And again, I'm reminding you that it's good to finish every week the book of Tehillim. So if you can't do it at once, you can divide it every day to read the chapters of that day. So if you read the chapters of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, until Shabbat Bezrat Hashem, you finish the whole book of Tehillim on Shabbat. So this is also good Bezrat Hashem. Let's start, Bezrat Hashem. You know, the last Aftarah was Aftarah from Yirmiyahu Anavi, Yirmiyahu the Prophet. And Hashem says, Shim'u dvar Hashem Beit Yaakov. Listen to what I say, Hashem, what I say, Hashem, the children of Yaakov, the whole mishpachot Beit Yisrael, and all the families of the children of Israel. Ko amar Hashem. This is what Hashem is saying. מה מצאו אבותיכם בי עוול כי רחקו מעלי? What did your fathers and you find default in me that you go far away from me? וילכו אחרי ההבל ויהבלו. And instead you're going after emptiness and nonsense. ולא אמרו, איה השם המעלה אותנו מארץ מצרים. And they, they are not asking, where is Hashem that took us out of Egypt? Hashem, please do this exile too. Re redempt us from this exile. We are in the month of Av. We are starting now after Avit, Besiyat Adishmaya, the month of Av. And always Besiyat Adishmaya, I, I, I give you b before Rosh Chodesh, the name, the com right combination of the name of Hashem that we say במוסף של ראש חודש. הריזל says, מדוע עם ישראל מתפללים ונעננים? What do the children of Israel dub and pray and their prayers are not always answered? So he says because they don't know how to concentrate on the right combination of the name of Hashem and the right combination of the name of Hashem for the month of Av comes from פרשת בעירה חומה שמות and it comes from the Pasuk, it's chapter 9, verse uh, 3, and it's Hine Yad Hashem, here the hand of Hashem, Hoya Bemiknecha. So the hand of Hashem is in your livestock, and the word Hoya is in, is the name of Hashem for the month of Av. Please pay attention. The month of Av, half of it is judgment and half is mercy. Because you can see, remember the month of Tammuz, the name of Hashem was from the, the end of, of the name of Hashem, Yud Kei Vav Kei, to the beginning. So it was, if the name of Hashem is Yud Kei Vav Kei, it was exactly from the end to the beginning. It was the letter A, hey, the letter, the letter Vav, the letter He, and the letter Yud. Now, it's only the two, the first two letters of Hashem are from the back to the beginning. The hey, the letter hey, and the letter vav. 
but then the other half of the month, which means from the 15th of the month till the end of the month, the name of Hashem is in the right order. It's Yud K. You see it over here? Which means Yud K. Besiyat Adishmaya. It begins, it's time of mercy. Achatam Sofer used to say at the beginning of the month of Av, because the month of Av is a month of a lot of sorrow, the, the building of Beit HaMikdash was ruined and burned, especially burned on the 10th of the month of Av, and we have a big fast on the 9th of the month of Av, Tisha Be'av. So he used to call this month Menachem Av, comforting Av, in order to soften judgment, to make the judgments L'Rakechet Adinim. But the other half, the other 15 days of Av are all about Besiyat Adishmaya, mercy and happiness and getting ready Bezrat Hashem to Yom Adin Gadol, to the big judgment day, to the month of Elul. So look how it's very interesting. The month of Av, its initials, is the Aleph, it's Aleph Bet. The initial Aleph is for Edom, which we are in the exile of Edom, that they ruined the second temple. And Bet is Babel, Babylon which is Iraq of today, that they ruined the first temple. So Av is Edom and Babel, both of two nations that ruined the, the temples, the first and the second one. We see Besiyat Adishma, it's written in the Chazal, say, Mishenichnas Av me'ma'atin besimcha. When the month of Av comes, comes in, we should, be, we should be happy, but less happier. Because half of the month is judgment and we have to, to, to do din v'cheshvon with ourselves. To say, what do we need to do in order that the building of Beit HaMikdash will be built? Look, it's written, and I told you also last lesson. Kol dor she'en Beit HaMikdash nivna bi'amav, ma'alin alav ki'ilu echrivo. Every generation that the Beit HaMikdash, the temple is not rebuilt, it's like it was ruined in that generation. Why? Because we didn't fix the problem. So what are you waiting for? We are sleeping. We can see what's going on in the world. We can see the, 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 the egocentriness of people that cannot see, and this is the, the evil inclination. The evil inclination wants separation. When, how do people get separated? Because they have a narrow look at reality. They look mostly about, on themselves, what I need, what I want. Not what all of the world needs, what all of my family needs, all of my siblings, all of my friends, all of my people need. They have a narrow look. This is, this is the lie. This a truth is, is a wide look at all of the world. And, and lies are a very narrow look at the world. It's, a, it's a, a point of view of myself, me, me, and again me. The whole purpose of the world, that's why we are not, we, are not, we don't live for, for eternity. The whole purpose of the world is that we look and, and fulfill not only our needs, but other people's needs kind, with empathy, love each other. Hashem build this world that we won't ruin it, but we will build the world together and make a place for Hashem. And Hashem doesn't have a place. We, live it. we have an apartment, we have a house, but where is the house of Hashem? How much sorrow do we have if one of our children doesn't go the right way? How much sorrow do we have? Think about Hashem. All the children of Israel is children, the firstborn, and all of the nations are also his children. And think how much sorrow he has when he sees what's going on in the world. And this is by a limited uh, um, aspect of viewing the world. The purpose of being in this world, the purpose of love is giving, unconditional giving. That's the purpose of the world. So let's continue. We said that half of this month, so how, how do we rebuild the temple? So Bezrat Hashem Beit HaMikdash, we say every day, three times a day, Bonei Yerushalayim, in Tfilat Shemona Esri, in the, tfilat, the, prayer of, the prayer of standing, we say Bonei Yerushalayim, he who builds Yerushalayim. 
And still, every generation, we had such, such big, and we still have the Siat Adishma, righteous tzaddikim among us. And all the generations had. So how did the, the Beit HaMikdash wasn't built? So Chazal say that each and every one of us, by davening to Hashem, we contribute a brick to Beit HaMikdash Ashlitit, to the third Beit HaMikdash in heaven, Besiat HaDishmaya. And all of the contribution of all the generations together will bring Bezat Hashem Beit HaMikdash here. But it still depends on our repentance. Why do we need to, to wait for Hashem to bring a king that his decrees will be so harsh that we will repent? That's what's written in the Gemara. If we won't repent out of goodness, Chas v'shalom, Hashem will bring such sorrow in the world that we will repent out of sorrow. Why do we need this? We can do it without being in Chas v'shalom in sorrow, or having a Haman, another Haman, another Chashverosh. So, Besiat Adishmaya, let's <coughs> look. So, I told you that Bezrat Hashem, the Khatam Sofer, used to call the first 15 days of the month Menachem Av, comforting Av, in order to soften the judgment of the month of Av. But then, Besiat Adishmaya, the other half of the month of Av, he used to call it Av, because this is the time, Besiat Adishmaya, of mercy. So the initials of the, the word Av, of the month of Av, is also not only Edom ve'Bavel, but also Arur ve'Baruch, which means the first part of the month of Av is like a cursed one, because they are judgment, and the, and the Beit HaMikdash was ruined, the temple was ruined. But then the second half is Baruch, which means it's blessed. Because on the day that the temple was ruined, this is the day that Mashiach gets, gets livelihood. From the death of sorrow, we can go up to the most glorious and joyful times. And that's why it's also the initials of Elul Ba. You see, Elul starts with an Aleph, Ba starts with a Bet. Together it's Av, or Elul Bapetach, which means the month of Elul is coming, or the month of Elul is in the entrance, Bapetach. Also it's Aleph and Bet, Besiat Adishmaya. So dear ladies, this is the month of Av. We are going into it. I would like to remind you there are special laws, Bezat Hashem, for the night. The more we come to the ninth of Av, the more we mourn. And maybe we'll have time and we'll go through this. We'll continue. I just told you that Hashem says in Yirmiyahu, the prophet, that he's asking the children of Israel, why did you leave me? Why did you forsake me? What did I do? To, what did you find default in me? That's very sad. This is the creator of the world. And we are his children, his firstborn. How can we put our backs to him, to Hashem? So you know, there are three Besiat Adishmaya, usually through the Yemei uh, Meitzarim, all of these three weeks, always, there are three Parshot Shavuot that we read them th during these three weeks. And this is Matot, Masae, and we open Chumash Dvarim before Tisha Be'av. Always before Tisha Be'av, this Chumash, we open Parshat Dvarim, Chumash Dvarim, always. And Besiat Adishmaya, why do we do that? Because you see over there Matot. Matot, the parash, parashat, parashat Matot, the portion of Matot, deals with oaths, promises. Hashem reminds us, you promised me, now seven Ishma, that we will do and we will listen. This is a promise, it's forever. Because Kutcha Berichu Raita Israel Chadu, Hashem, the Torah and the children of Israel are one, are combined to one. So Hashem says, where is your promise? And Hashem promised us. And if Hashem is eternity, then His word is eternity. <coughs> and you should be a special nation for me. My firstborn, a special nation from all of the nations forever. 
Even if you sin, חטא ישראל, ישראל הוא. Even if we sin, we are still Israel. We are still the children of Yaakov Avinu, Abraham, Yitzchak ויעקב. And we never want not to listen to Hashem. It's the evil inclination that causes us in 2,000 years almost of exile, that we don't remember who we are. And the glory of the children of Israel in the land of Israel, and the glory of Yerushalayim and Kohanim and the priests and the Leviim, we don't remember it. But we were all in Mahamad Ar Sinai. We were all at the mountain of Sinai when we went out of Egypt, all of us. Until the end of days, all of our descendants, everyone was there. And we all said, Naseh Nishma. And Hashem gave us the Torah for the children that will keep the Torah for generations. So the first thing, this is why we have these three portions, to remind us all of the promises, the promise that Hashem gave us and the promise that we gave Hashem. Then we go to Masai. All of the travels, the 42 travels of the children of Israel in the desert. In the desert, it means that Hashem wants us to remember to be humble. Hashem says, my children, you can follow the Torah and be a vessel of the Torah if you are humble. How can we have peace if we are not humble? If we have pride, we don't have peace. We have separation. So Hashem says, please be humble. Furthermore, it says in the Zohar HaKadosh, Darash Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai says, At the beginning, Hashem created the world. That the fear of Hashem She, this is the kingdom that is called the beginning. <coughs> And this is the first mitzvah that the whole world stands on. And it's, it's obvious, if you don't have the fear of Hashem, then, then you do whatever you want. Call Dalim Gaver. Because if you don't think that you're responsible and you take responsibility for your actions, everything is allowed. Nobody can do anything to you. You can hurt people, you can do whatever you want. There's chas v'shalom, no judgment. You think, kol de'alim gavar, which means elet din ve'el de'dayan chas v'shalom. But if you have the fear of Hashem and you remember there's an eye that sees, an ear that listens, and all your actions are written in a book, and you're only temporary, only a visitor in this world, and when you go out, you go in front of the court in heaven, and there you're going to be judged over everything that you did in this world. So the whole world depends on it, and you can see it right now. I, I shouldn't speak about history. Look what's going on now. All around us. Everywhere in Israel, in the United States, everywhere, all over the world. People think that there's no... You don't have to, to, to be um, responsible for, what, for your actions. You can do whatever you want. You can ruin the world that God created. And you won't be responsible for this. And they don't understand that every action that we do, we are responsible for it. <laughs> so, we come to Masai, and each and every one of us has 42 travels. And the experiences and challenges which are tests from Hashem and no, and no one gets a test that he can't stand the test, that he can't succeed in the test. Hashem gives you a test that he knows you have the spiritual power to overcome and to succeed in the test. And then we come to Chumash Dvarim, which is exactly this Shabbat, Shabbat Chazon Yishayahu Ben Amotz. It's a big Shabbat. It's one of the biggest Shabbatot of all the Shabbatot through all of the year. There's such big light in this Shabbat because in the darkness, before the ruining of, of Beit HaMikdash, on the ninth of the month of Av, we have Shabbat that brings light. 
Shabbat that reminds us of the days of Mashiach. This, this is this Shabbat. So Dvarim Besiyat Adishmaya is a book of tochacha and, and commandments, which means Moshe Rabbeinu tells the children of Israel words about everything that they did during the journey before they go into the land of Israel, and he rebukes them, and he tells them, please remember all these things that you did, and Hashem punished you for this. Remember, when we go into the land of Israel, follow the ways, the way of Hashem. Follow His commandments. And then you choose life, you choose good. So that's why this Parashat Barim is exactly before the ninth of Av. And let's, let's look at it. It says like this, These are the things that Moshe said. If we take the initials of the word Hadvarim Asher Diber Moshe, we get Ha'adam, the human being. Lo Adam, human being, but the human being, Ha'adam, with hey idea. So Besiyat Adishma, we go to Kohelet, and Kohelet says, Sof davar akol nishma, at the end, eventually, everything is heard. Et elokim yere, you should have the fear of Hashem, just like we said the first mitzvah, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai says, it is the mitzvah of fearing Hashem. Ve'et mitzvotav shmo, and you should keep all his, of his commandments, ki ze kol ha'adam. You see, this is all the human being. Just like here, the initial Adam, which means Moshe Rabbeinu is telling us that eventually you need to have the fear of Hashem in order to walk in the way of Hashem. And if you have the fear of Hashem, then you are called, this is the essence of the human being in this world. So what does, what does he say? To whom he speaks? So he says, Ele, these, Aleph in numerical value is one, Lamed is 30, He is five, it's 36, Lamed Vav. The Zohar, Tikkunei Zohar Kadosh says, Besiyat Adishmea, that 36 righteous, hidden, righteous people in the land of Israel, and 36 spread all over the world. Together, 72 righteous people, Olam Chesed Ibaneh. King David says, Olam Chesed Ibaneh, which means the world stands on, is built on mercy, in the, in the schut. In the merit of those 72 tzaddikim, the whole world is still standing. Furthermore, Ele, Achida says to God, he says, Ele hadvarim, don't read Ele hadvarim, but put a different dots, Ele hadabarim. These are the heads of the children of Israel. This is what they need to do. This is how they need to behave. Nae doresh, nae mekayem. That if you give a drasha, you speak about Torah to people, to the children of Israel, you should set an example. And when you set an example, what comes out of the heart goes into the heart. And the essence of yourself becomes the essence of your students. So if you're drinking, Hashem says, from my fountain, from my Torah, and you are humble, because there's no irat Hashem if there's no, there's no fear of Hashem if there's no humbleness, and you are humble, Bezrat Hashem, then you become Hadat, the knowing of Hashem to Klali, so just like Moshe Rabbeinu. And everybody that drinks from this water of Torah becomes a fearing God. And then Ele, in initials, is Avak Leshonara which means the dust of slandering. So what does Moshe Rabbein want from us? He says, I love you all, but the beginning of hatred, false hatred, starts again only with the mouth. And the second Beit HaMikdash was, was ruined, the second temple was ruined because of false hatred. False hatred starts with the mouth with what we take out of our mouth, 
we can build we mamash literally we can't see it but once we pass to the other world after a long life we see we can literally build worlds with our words build people which means give them livelihood like a teacher that comes to a to a class and she sees her student even though his handwriting is not clear she says wow kolakavod that you make an effort that you wrote so nicely kolakavod this student will come home and he will feel so proud he will do his homework he will feel so good he will try more and be better so you walk in the street and you saw your and you see your friend you take a phone and you call your friend and you know that this is very stressing time because of the virus and uh, people have problems and people sometimes get depressed and you just call and you say no I'm calling to, to tell you that I love you I miss you how are you you know she's from the other side of the phone you even hear her smile you made her day now she will be nice to her husband her children but siata dishmaya and everybody that is around her you build a human being you mamash this energy that you took from your mouth you built someone you gave them str energy strength positive strength so this is what Moshe Rabbeinu says don't find defaults in each other the opposite find the good things the beauty in each other find the beauty of each other be nice to each other find the beauty in yourself be more patient at home it's not easy and you know what the most biggest thing of all is a karatato Moshe Rabbeinu starts Chumash Dvarim he starts it by reminding him the, the sin of the golden calf, Chet Egil. And why does he, that's why we started before Tisha B'Av. Because when the spies came back, it was on Tisha B'Av, on the night of Av, and the children of Israel were crying and saying that they prefer Chas Shalom to die in the desert. Why did you bring us? Why did you take us out of Egypt? How could we forget so quickly? You know why we forget so quickly? Generosity of, of Hashem, generosity of other people. We forget to say thank you, to be grateful. If we were not grateful for the Shaliyah, for the Messenger, how can we be grateful to Hashem? If we don't understand that Hashem sent this Shaliyah. I'll give you examples. If a husband is not grateful for his wife, that is at home and takes care of the children, and makes the food and do, does the laundry and so many things she does at home and he comes back and he just he gets angry if something is not right we need to knock on the door and ask what's wrong here we should remember to be thankful for everything it's not obvious what we get from Hashem if, if the, uh, this husband his wife did this is because Hashem gave her the strength to do it to build him a family who builds a family truly it's the wife who build, the women who build the family they get pregnant they bring children by this chut, the father has a chut to be called Abba Tati because of the woman in the house so if we remember to say thank you thank you and to give a hand Besiata Dishmaya and not to get angry and this and uh, stressed sometimes I see things and I say to myself wow Hashem Hashem where is the dat of Hashem if a dat people forget that they're only temporary over here because if we would have remembered that Hashem is looking at us every minute split of a second of a day we wouldn't behave like this we had the fear of Hashem because we have to get din v'cheshbon to Hashem for all of our deeds, everything, every word that we take out of our mouth. And the wife should say thank you also to the husband who goes and works and supports her that Hashem gives him Parnassah and goes with Zat Hashem and studies Torah, which is a spiritual Parnassah that builds all of the world, that all of the world is standing on it. So we, if we had been nicer to each other but to be nice it starts at home first it starts 
in the family unit. You can't be nice outside and not be nice at home. The practice starts is at home. So Moshe Rabbeinu says, you remember the, the sin of the golden calf? Chet Egel after Hashem took you out of Egypt? Because Besiata Dishmaya, after the, the, the and spies gave you, came and slandered the land of Israel, and you all Besiata Dishmaya didn't want to go into the land of Israel except for the women. It was the men and not the women. And you didn't want to go into the land of Israel, Hashem said, because you had false tears, you're going to have and you're going to have false tears, this is what you're going to have. You're going to cry for generations. The ruining of the two temples, pogromim, burning of Jews in, in synagogues when there were plagues in Europe, uh, exiles of the children of Israel all over, all over, in Yemen, in, in Russia, all over, exiles of the children of Israel. Holocaust, look what we ha went through. And why? Because we don't remember how to say thank you to Hashem. To be grateful, to be grateful that we have Baruch Hashem, that we have a husband, we have children, we have a father and mother, we have in-laws, we have siblings, Baruch Hashem, we have friends, we are part of a people, of the children of Israel. We are part of all humanity. So we, f we forget to be grateful. Let's look at Ishmael. Three prophets said the word Eicha. Three prophets. The first one, Besiat Adishma is Moshe Rabbeinu. He says, Echa esa levadi, how shall I carry on my own? Tirchatchem, your troubles. Umasachem, and all of, the, of your burdens. Verivchem, and all of your fights, he says. How can I bear all of this, all your trouble, your burdens, all, the, all your fights on my own? Then Ishayar the prophet says, This faithful city became like a whore. Yerushalayim. Look at us. We are supposed to build. Chas v'shalom not to ruin. This is the ability of the children of Israel. No one has this ability. Hakol kol Yaakov, the voice is the voice of Yaakov. And when our voice is heard, and when it's a positive voice, a voice of Torah, that we practice what we say, literally practice. Not only study, but na'e doresh na'e mekayem. But we practice what we say, Besiyat Adishmer, then the whole world will be built and there will be peace all over the world. We come to the prophet Yirmiyahu that the first temple was ruined in his time. And he says, Yirmiyahu, Echa, Echa Yashba Badad, Ha'ira Batiam. Look how the city is sitting uh, alone. And this city that used to have so many people that Hashem exiled most of the Jewish people out of Eretz Israel, out of Yerushalayim. Both of them use Eicha. Where do we see it at the beginning? That's very interesting. We see it in Bereshit. Bereshit, at the beginning, when Hashem created the world, He created Adam Chava. And over there He tells Adam, you are not allowed to eat from the tree of knowledge, Me'etz Adat Tovera, the tree of knowledge, good and bad. And so a husband tells his wife, Chava, he tells her, you're not allowed to eat from it and you're not allowed to touch it. And the serpent comes and tells her that she should eat from the tree of knowledge. She says, no, I'm not allowed to eat from the tree of knowledge and I'm not allowed to touch it. Eventually she eats from it, she gives it to Adam and Hashem is seeking Adam. And Hashem says, Vayikra Hashem Elokim where are you? The same letters of Eicha, you see? Aleph, Yud, Chaf, Hei, just different dots. It's the same, you see the same letters? Aleph, Yud, Chaf, Hei, Aleph, Yud, Chaf, Hei, Moshe uses Eicha, Yishayahu, the prophet, uses Eicha, Yirmiyahu, the prophet, uses Eicha, Hashem says, Ayeka. 
This call is for all of us, the children of Israel and all humanity. Hashem is asking us now, Ayeka, where are you? Look, you, you ate from the tree of knowledge. Look at yourselves. You're ruining my world. Where is Mashiach that should be revealed? It should have been revealed yesterday already. A day goes by and another day goes by and we get engaged from everything that we do and we forget that if we want the Mashiach, it won't come right now and Hashem won't save us now. Shalom Eda, we are going to a big ruining of this world with big steps. So Hashem is asking now, like he asked me the first Adam Rishon, by Hashem Elohim and Hashem and Hashem, God, is calling to Adam and he says, Vayomer Elav, Ayeka, where are you? Wake up! Don't you see that it, we're coming to the end? When are you going to wake up? This is exactly what Moshe Rabbeinu says, Bechumash Dvarim. How can I carry on myself your trouble, your burden, your fights? Don't we know that we need to be together as one people? Don't you see all of the enemies of the children of Israel within us and outside? Don't you see what's going on? Hashem says, open your eyes. Wake up! We are mamash at the last minute before Chas Shalom disaster can come. These days can become the way they are, they, they are sorrow days, they can be very joyful and a happy days, Bezat Hashem. So it depends on us. And this is the time to repent and to do tshuva. And the siyata dishmaya to flip everything. Today, everything evil becomes good, and good becomes evil. Everything is upside down. Being violent, uh, unbelievable. Being violent and ruining things, you won't be arrested. But if you are good and you are law-abiding citizen, then you do so. You don't. You don't. You go anywhere or do something. Immediately, you'll be arrested. Unbelievable what's going on. And until now, there wasn't Mimshelet Minut really in the land of Israel. Which means all of the all, all of the Rashi Mimshalah, the prime ministers, all of them use all of them one by one used to speak to rabbis to to go and get advice from rabbis. This is the first time that we come to a time that it will, in Erev Rabba Amalek will go up, we need to cry to Hashem and shout to Hashem. Because you have to understand that if something happens in the land of Israel, all of the Jewish people all over the world are in big danger. And you know what? If we don't remember our history, we have a big problem. Because all of these things happened already. King Solomon says, There's nothing new under the sun. History repeats itself. And all of these steps were already done before World War II. And you see the anti-Semitism all over the world. Dear ladies, it's time to wake up. It's time to beg Hashem with tears that Hashem will rebuild the temple, that will remember us. He took us out of Egypt from 49 gates of impurity. Also nine, He should take us out, even, we, even though we are not perfect. But the only thing we can change in order that He will do it now is just to love each other to find the merit of each other all the time, to find the merit of Klal Yisrael, to mention it by mouth, not only to think about it, but to say it loud. Please Hashem, save us. We're all the children of Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. Please Hashem, for your promise, save us. 
Please, Hashem, remember us. You took us out of Mitzrayim. Take us out now from Galut Edom. Remember, there's a new Chodesh Av, Edom and Babel. Edom is the second, the ruining of the second temple, and Babel is the first temple. Besiyat Adishman, we need to shout to Hashem. Hashem is shouting to us, Ayeka. What does Hashem want from us? To speak to Him, to ask Him for mercy. To remember him, Sorry. to know Besiyat Adishmaya that he is the king of kings, that he is our father, and we are his sons and daughters, the sons and the daughters of a king, and behave like this, and not mingle and be part of, of the minhagim, of the customs of, of, of the nations. But remember that Hashem gave us a duty in this world to bring light to the world with the Torah that He gave us. We rebuilt the world every day with Hashem. But it depends on our approach, on the way we look at life. Truth is, when we look with, a, with true eyes on life, Bezrat Hashem, this brings love and unity to the whole world. But when we look uh, subjectively on things, then this brings ruining to the world. So dear ladies, I would like to bless us that this month of Av that comes in, Bezat Hashem, we'll have good news, Bezat Hashem, that Hashem will spare us and remember that we went through so many misfortunes, the children of Israel. We were slaves, we were slaughtered, we were gas chambers, we were exiled. May Hashem have mercy upon us and, and the whole world and bring peace upon us and the whole world. And may we all, Bezrat Hashem, repent, Besiyat Adishmaya. And the will of Hashem will be our will, Bezrat Hashem. And Besiyat Adishmaya, we will see the building of Beit HaMiglash HaShlishi Bimera Amen. And Besiyat Adishmaya, Besiyat Adishmaya, we will all be Zoche Bezrat Hashem to greet Mashiach Tzedken Bar Chamim Murim Bimera Amen. Amen. And when we all Besiyat Adishmaya, I would like to bless all of you. Besiyat Adishmaya, Chid Berabim, Alacha Kerabim. Talinu Betov Betakitsu Bishua Berachamim. Amen. I love you all. Amen. Amen. Amen.